Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I am a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln. And in this video, I wanted to look at deriving the potential energy of a self-gravitating sphere. So where do we start? Well, given a point mass m, so uppercase m, and its gravitational field, the gravitational potential energy of mass m is given by the following equation here. So we've got g, which is the gravitational constant, you've got the point mass m, and you've got the lowercase m, which is a um, smaller mass essentially, and that's divided by r, which will be the radius then of a sphere. So the first thing then is to assume that we've got this self-gravitating sphere of constant density. So the density throughout is the same. It doesn't change, which is important. It's got some mass m and it's got a radius r. So the potential energy then is determined by integrating the gravitational potential energy across all points of the sphere. And we can write the integral essentially like this here. But we've got two elements there essentially. We've got the total mass of the sphere. So if we had a look at the actual gravitational potential energy previously, we had G, M, M, R. Well, we've still got that here, but the first part is that total mass of the sphere written in terms of the density and its radius instead. And then we've got the mass of a spherical shell with thickness dr. So that's, think of it kind of like the skin around this sphere. It's a small shell which has, which has some thickness dr. So it's written in the same sort of manner there. Now, what we can do is we can move the constants outside of the integral. So we're gonna put those outside of the integral and we can write it in this manner here, essentially. Now we can actually integrate. So we could integrate between zero and the radius of the sphere. And then we get the following for our potential energy, which is not what we want at the moment. Now, what we want is to remove the density out and put it in terms of the mass instead. So what we're going to do is at the bottom there, that equation for mass is the mass of a sphere in terms of its radius and density. If we rearrange that for density for rho and for r, we could then substitute those back in to the above equation. That will then allow us to remove out the density. And we then end up with this solution here for the potential energy of a self-gravitating sphere, which has constant density throughout. So we end up with minus 3g times the mass of the sphere squared over 5r, which is the radius of the sphere. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.